Well, I've come to the conclusion that there are two perceptions of reality. And there's a uh, religious perception of reality, and there's a spiritual perception of reality. The religious perception of reality is about guilt, sin, and blame, and that's the trap. That's the chains that holds every citizen. Spiritual perception of reality is about responsibility. We're all responsible. We're not guilty, we're responsible. Identified as a poet, a leader for Native people's rights, a powerful speaker, and an extremely effective communicator, John Trudell calls himself a blue Indian. Indeed, Nixon administration, we had gone too far. Trudell served as national chairman through 1979. This is a country where all men are created equal, and it's the land of the free, and the home of truth and justice and liberty for all. Well, we want to know why that doesn't apply to us. With this high-profile position came increased attention from the U.S. government, which compiled a 17,000-page file bearing his name. The violent rap we got laid on us, it was all our people that died. You don't see a long list of feds and and death squad members and any of these other people, you don't see any long list of their dead, you see a long list of our dead, and you look at that list and every one of them's got an Indian name, almost exclusively. John Trudell himself became a victim of violence when his wife, mother-in-law, and three children were killed when the house in which they were sleeping burned to the ground. All through the course of the years of all of this, all I did was talk. And they cracked down hard just for that. The fire, which started 12 hours after John Trudell burned an American flag in protest in front of FBI headquarters, was declared an accident. The FBI declined an investigation. You paid an enormous personal price for your involvement in this, didn't you? In one sense, that's true, you know, but then when I compare it, you know, I think that my family paid the price and I was just left behind to suffer it. Devastated by the loss of his family, Trudell withdrew from the world. Writing words became his way to keep some sanity and to continue to survive. When I started writing, it was, that was my, you know, my lines were my bombs. These were the bombs I was throwing. These were my explosions. These were almost, in a way, my acts of violence against a society that, that was the only way I could act. The objective is to do the best we can with the best we have as often as we can. But when I'm saying do the best we can with the best we have as often as we can, I'm talking about using the power of our creative intelligence clearly and coherently. I'm talking about thinking. I'm, taking, I'm talking about taking the responsibility for that, that, that sacred power of intelligence that we have been given and do, using that to do the best that we can with the best that we have as often as we can. One well, of the distinction I make between teaching and programming is we're programmed to perceive reality to meet the needs of this industrial society that we're in. And programming is based upon memorization and believing. Believe the programming. We're not taught to think. See, so because at the end of the programming, we, have, we don't really have knowledge. We have information and data to make the, the machine run. Teaching means that when the teaching, as the teaching takes place, we learn from the life experiences. We, we, have, we gain knowledge about life. Teaching is about life. Programming is about, uh, is about a specialization within life. 